Good morning guys, we are on the sand for an early morning surf session. Uh, today's goal is to target uh, Corbina and we're going to try to sight fish him. Uh, we're going to be throwing the Carolina rig. I've got the Shimano Stratic, it's a 3000, same size as the 2500 but uh, a little bit larger spool. We've got some braid backing, in the uh, 10 pound braid is backing. And I got a 6 pound fluoro, it's a Seaguar R18 fluorocarbon. The Carolina rig with a 4 pound liter Seaguar Tatsu. Um, using a size eight, size eight owner mosquito hook. Starting off with a three eighth egg sinker, and depending on how the condition shifts over the day, you can switch all the way down to a one eighth ounce bullet weight, and all the way up to a three quarter ounce egg sinker. Invite you into my journey. Let's see how this day goes. Hopefully, we can get some big beans. So um, the conditions, um, the water's kind of churned up, a little brown. It is a rising tide. So um, the water movement is a little stronger than I'd like. When sight fishing Corbina, you want it to, you should be able to see right through. Um, part of the difficulty of doing that today is uh, overcast skies. Hopefully the marine layer will, will uh, burn off with the sun coming up. It's still early in the morning, it's about 6.15 a.m. We'll just walk the shoreline, see if we can see any movement in the front, in the front to see if we see any Corbina feeding. And if not, we'll just kind of slowly fish the trough um, and just kind of blind cast and hope we can run into some. So um, the water looks pretty fishy, man. There should be some activity. Whether or not we're going to be able to sight fish them is another story. We're going to try, and if not, we're just going to try to get whatever wants to play today. So stay tuned, guys. Got a fish on, guys. I was blind casting and uh, looks like I got a half decent Corbina. Might be a yellowfin croaker, but yeah, I just found this little pocket where it looked like there was a rip and uh, he hit on the drop on a blind cast so uh assuming we can get this guy in uh we'll beat the skunk uh, not doesn't feel too massive he's not really giving much of a fight right now but um again good to you know i figure it was fishy water man it looks really really fishy what do we got here a little slider little corbina Dude, he fight, he's fighting so much bigger than... <laughs> he's fighting so much bigger than you would expect. So this is probably like less than 15. Um, but man, he fought like a train, man. Um, they're such good fighters. Um, but yeah, when you blind cast, these are kind of the, um, the size Corbina I typically catch. A lot smaller. So I prefer sight casting and hunting. Um, the ones that are rushing the skinny water tend to be the bigger models so um, again it's just good to get the skunk off the board and get a line in the water um, and know that there's fish here hopefully as the water um, thins out sucks out a little bit um, we'll see the bigger ones uh, rushing the skinny but uh, good to know that they're here so I'm gonna this is maybe only like 20 yards over but I'm gonna cast right here the reason why is uh, there's a thick there's a sand, the sand crab beds that are starting to show all along the beach, but uh, right there and right here, uh, when the water runs past, I can tell they're, they're bigger crabs. So um, I feel like that might be something the fish might prefer. Um, the other sand crab beds, there's a lot of micros right now, really, really small crabs, but um, these are a little bit bigger profile. Not huge by any means, but a little bigger. I mean, this is a really nice uh, active. Like you can see this guy crawling around where everyone I touch him. Uh, really feisty, has a row all over him. Um, he's gonna be digging, trying to dig into that sand as soon as I cast him. So you want really healthy bait, um, fresh active bait. Um, and I think the longer I've done this, the more I realize how important it is to use the right bait. We're going to stick around here and make a, a couple more casts. Um, it'll be more than a one cast deal. I feel like this is a really fishy spot. Feel the sand crab. So when your line is tight, it almost feels like a kind of a snag. Um, means your sand crab's digging un under. So you want to kind of let them dig in there, kind of pop them out. And hopefully it keeps digging. And that activity, I feel like is very attractive uh, for, you know, a surf critter that might be feeding. Something's nibbling. Fish on. Something small again. Yeah, my guess is a little perch. It was like peck, 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 peck. 
generally speaking, a Corbina will grab and go. This is a, actually, maybe it's a Corbina again. I don't know. I've not just seen that kind of run, unless it's a better sized perch. But he was just pecking at it. What do we got here? Yeah, another small Corbina. So another small one, uh, probably like 12 inches or so. So this fish, the, the beans are here, but it's not really, you know, these are fun. You can catch like 10, 20, 30 of these when they're schooling. Uh, we want the big ones though. So let's try to find them. Let this guy go. Oh, just missed a bite. That bite was very close, right up in the shelf, so. Uh, fishing the Carolina rig with the sand crab, um, especially on light line, it's not so much of a bait and wait thing. I mean, you do, you do, you can take, and I do take long pauses, but more than anything, it's a uh, Keep your line tight and just do a really slow retrieve. Oh, there's a bite. That one, oh, that one hit like a train. Yeah, so right on that steady retrieve, um, he bit and it feels like a uh, better quality fish. So we're gonna take our time with it. So this is fish number three. We'll see what this one comes out to. Um, doesn't have that solid weight, but it feels a little nicer. Ah, uh, same size. Smaller? Oh, it's a yellowfin croaker. Cool, man. It's fun. Yeah, that was a classic. I should have known better. It's a classic yellowfin croaker bite. These croaker, um, absolutely no hesitation, man. They just take your crab and run, and they run hard. That first run is always like, holy moly. So fun little guy. Um, when these guys are schooling, you can catch like 20, 30 at a time. Uh, to be honest with you, you get a little annoying. Um, at least this size, shoot, you get into the 15 inch plus range, um, it's a lot of fun, so. All right, so I thought I'd do a little quick check-in. Um, I've been fishing for maybe about an hour and um, found a little stretch where there was a little riptide and some water movement and uh, was able to pick off a couple of small corbina and a small little yellowfin croaker. Um, walked a good stretch of sand, haven't seen a single corbina in the skinny water, but it's good to know that there's fish in this in this front area here at the high tide. It's peaking out and the water's already starting to calm down a little bit. So I'm hoping that in the next couple hours as it calms down, um, some of the bigger beans will start roaming the, the front skinny water. So um, hopefully the clarity will kind of improve as well. So, so we'll see how it goes guys. Let's get it. So I wasn't able to find any more Corbina at the beach I was at, so I made a quick move to another stretch of sand and the sun peaked out, visibility was markedly improved and I made a cast as you can see at this angle and the reason why is as you see the waves roll back, what do you see? And if you don't see it right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and change to the other slide. What you do see in front of you in the picture is a gigantic sand crab bed. And whenever you see a situation like this where there's a large sand crab bed, you want to stop. There's a good chance that you're going to find Corbina that are going to be coming up, rushing up into the skinny water and feeding. And that's exactly what I saw happen here. I saw groups of two and three Corbina charging the sand crab bed repeatedly. So I cast at them at an angle. Visibility was a little bit difficult, but made a cast and I saw one of the Corbina turn its head and move towards my crab. Felt a little tick on the line, set the hook, and man, I was so stoked. Um, grinding for these Corbino while sight fishing can be very challenging. And so anytime you can get a bite, it's truly, truly a grateful moment. He didn't end up being very big. It was about maybe 18 or 19 inches, so nothing to write home about. But it was definitely, I think, the fattest Corbina I've ever caught. He had truly been feasting on those sand crabs. So it was one heck of a fight. Took me a while to get him in and beach him. And ultimately, just so very grateful for the opportunity to catch Corbina while sight fishing. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much, guys, as always, for your support. Until next time, Tidelines. Yeah, baby. Come on. Oh, baby. Holy crap. I'm 
hung up on some seaweed. It's a good size, it's better than I thought it was gonna be, guys. Um, it was the pear that's been swimming around for a very, very long time, flipping me off. So when these guys bite, um, make sure that your drag is set just tight. Pretty loose, guys, uh, on four pound test. Hear that drag singing. I got him on, uh, on a soft shell sand crab and he's retreating to that trough there and he's gonna get stuck there for a while. Um, again, you wanna keep your rod um, at about a 45, depending on the angle of where you have him on the sand, maybe lower. But he's uh, swimming around here in the skinny. He's not done yet, he's gonna be a minute. Um, the way he, that first burst was amazing. Really good fight, um, really good energy. Feisty guy for sure. So um, what you wanna be careful of is with the incoming tide, you wanna be careful to um, not let the line go too slack. So when, when these guys are ready, they're gonna come in with the incoming tide. Now this guy's taking another run, a, a deep run out. He saw me, he didn't like, like it. So just take your time, be patient. We got him in close now, but he's not done. See, when he's ready, he, he's tired. He's tipping over a little bit, he's fatigued. But he's still shaking his head and trying to use that backward, um, the outgoing tide to, to scoot himself back out there. Um, when they're ready to come in, they'll let themselves in. Um, you can't force them on four pound. So we're just walking with them. Uh, if he changes direction, you wanna change the direction of the rod. So he's almost ready. Let's see if we can finish this off. I mean, he's in his comfort zone right there. He, that, this is where they swim in like six inches of water. Wow, this guy, I'm gonna be heartbroken if I lose him. So we're almost, we almost got him home. Oh, this guy's fat, that's why he's fighting so good. I can barely get my hands around him. There he is, guys. All day long, all day long. Yeah, this guy's not, he's not even 19, but he's so fat. I'm amazed by just the girth of this guy. Um, only like, not even 19 inches, but Man, he was so fat. They've been, they've been gorging on the sand crabs. 